Hi everyone, this is Honest and today I'll be playing another game of Total War Warhammer 2 online. So, as usual, let's run for the armies real quick. Nice little cinematic shot there just to um, just to kick things off. Anyway, let's put it in slow motion and let's have a look. So today, Wood Elves, just hidden in the forest like they usually are. We have Orion up at the front with most of his abilities stripping away except for... Hawk's Talon and Cloak of Isha, which is probably one of the... If you're going to bring him, you may as well bring this, just to keep him alive and go in, even when he's close to death. And escorting him into battle, we have the Eternal Guard. More Eternal Guard. And even more Eternal Guard. All chevroned up just to hold the enemy at bay. As well as Treekin, just one unit from what I can see. A Branch Wraith with... Awakening of the Woods and Earthblood. More Eternal Guard, but this time with shields. Ones at the front do not have shields. Glade Guard, Hagbane Tips, two of those. Two with the Starfire Shafts, and then the two Azrae Spears at the very back. Probably one of, my, one of, the, one of the best looking units. Just tattoos and the little capes and big spears. Very cool. Very cool. Cool and chic unit. Best probably anti-large option there is available. But anyway, let's fly over. Oh wait, before we get there, we have the Sisters of the Thorn, which do apply poison, and I have the Curse of Unria, which is a very helpful spell. You basically get two charges of this, which is a very, very useful spell, as it reduces melee attack, speed and accuracy. And the Shield of Thorns, which sort of, you can use the book buff up your mainline troops or help your lord or cavalry with missile resistance and to the opponent on the other side Bretonia we've got a grail reliquary next to him King Leon Leon Kerr on his steed you don't really see him on his steed that much he's not be flying in the air and he's hippogriff having having a grand old time but today he's with the with the troops in the in the dirt Getting his nice flaming sword all dirted up. He's a um, faithful companion, the Grail Relic. Anyway, we got men at arms, all chevroned up as we can see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six units. And they should fur quite well against the Eternal Guard, considering the Eternal Guard. Oh no, melee defense and melee attackers just as prominent as theirs. Going over to the flanks, which I did not see in this engagement at the very beginning, were the Grail Knights. Along with more Grail Knights. Big blunder to miss these guys. They're very, very potent on the field. Very cool looking unit. All chivalrous. Onto the other side, we have Questing Knights. Another cool looking unit. Anti infantry variant. Carrying around the big great swords. And then two royal, oh, yeah, two royal Pegasus knights. Just once again, another cool-looking unit. Very, very powerful unit on the field. And without further ado, let's get this underway. I don't think they have a caster among them from the Bretonians. So here we go. As we can see, a bit of light skirmishing at the very beginning. Nothing much. Just poking down the royal Pegasus knights where they can. Just a nice sort of friendly walking the woods for both of these armies, but as Warhammer dictates, violence must ensue. <laughs> Once again, fire, firing opening on the um, Royal Pegasus Knights, wanting to back away from them immediately, of course. Nothing much going on yet, just everyone posturing up, trying to get the um, home field downhill charge advantage, but I realised that's what he was going for, so. Retreat back into the woods where I can get them buffs that they receive for being in the woods. Men at arms blocking all the damage done by the arrows, but soon switch target onto the Royal Pegasus Knights as they're the optimal ones. Eternal Guard charging in. As you can see, battle of the um, heavyweights here. Just don't really see Eternal Guards without shields, but I felt I might as well bring them while they're a bit cheap. As we can see, the Azurai Spears 
catching well just clipping the Grail Knights as they come speeding in. Magic going down, Earthblood going down, Ryan charging in, Treacan charging in. Bolts going down and a large Awakening of the Woods going down from the branch Wraith, just devastating that front line. Did a lot of damage in no, Alphurnus. As you can see Orion in the front just at the time of life on the hunt as per usual. On the hunt for them nice looking horses. Going into the back lines you can see I'm heavily compromised by the cavalry. Did stand much of a chance but I'm going to use the archers just to run away and hopefully the spears can catch them as they try to try to hunt down the archers. So we can see a very, very bad trade going in here. As right spears versus men at arms, both trading equally as effective, but you really don't want the war dancers caught up in a fight like this. It's not going to do very well for them. As you can see, the Fist of the Fawn coming in to protect the archers won't stand much of a chance against the Grail Knights, but with the curse going down, might might allow the archers to get away and possibly fire, but all is lost, <laughs> as the guy just said. All is quite lost back there. <laughs> Branch race coming to combat now on the front line, just anti-infantry, I think the Branch Wraith is, so it should do very good. Oh no, it's an anti infantry, but it's good against it's good against units like infantry units anyway. Grail Relic taking a beating from Orion, as as we can expect. Orion's gonna punch through the Grail Relic's armor, and is that magical resistance or physical resistance? Physical resistance. We put a punch for that pretty well. I mean, weapon strength 512, armor piercing 673 melee attack. It's gonna fly for the pitiful 28 defense. Grail, Grail Relic's not gonna do very well though. <laughs> Eternal Guards charging in with the Scroll of Shielding. Tree can hold it up very well, even against the um, Royal Pegasus Knights. Oh, trap's been sprung by the Eternal Guard. Completely forgot about these units. There was somewhere over here. I managed to swing them around. Get them behind the Eternal Guard. Not behind the, sorry, behind the um, Royal Pegasus Knights and the Men at Arms. Causing a bit of a wavering issue. I mean, attack from behind. That's the main fight, as we can see, the Orion just laying waste the Grail Relic. A bit of an atricious fight in the middle here between the Eternal Guard and the Men at Arms. A lot of Men at Arms being wasted, sort of bogged down on one unit. As we can see, these these knights being driven all over the place by the archers, who they haven't really successfully killed. I mean, they're going to return to the fight and be able to turn around and fire back into the Quested Knights and the... Grail Knights, as we can see, a full unit of war dancers ready to just pounce on them as soon as they stop. More archers coming back. Back to the front line, we see Orion chasing off the Grail Relic, just charging after him. And goes down, as suspected. Very quick character, 61 movement speed, as you can see, just got his eyes set. On King Leon Leon Kerr just bulldozing all them guys out the way. Doesn't even just reducing them to mushy pixels of red. Heading back over to the next fight. Just treaking, just sort of steamrolling everything around here. Not taking much damage in return. War dancers, like we said, are tying up everything back here. Unfortunately getting caught with the men at arms. Question knights breaking free, gonna scoop these few archers left but allow these archers to fire in with impunity really. Not much interesting going on back there really. Coming back through the woods. As you can see Orion versus King Leon the Kerr. Have a look at this, just surrounded by Eternal Garden Tree King and War Dance is not doing very well. Getting slowly but surely poked down. The King of the land versus the king of the woods here. Tree King doing a backflip all over him. Just had a spell go off then I think. Yep, yep. Oh god. Just awakening the woods, destroying this pocket of men at arms, just reducing them to nothing. Very, very cheap spell, and I think it's been buffed a bit because it used to be pitiful, but now very well. Very good indeed. 
Branch Wraith the only thing left here. Tackling on Grail Knights and Men at Arms. King Leon Leon Kerr running away. Very unchivalrous. Orion hot in pursuit. As you can see the archers, even after all that fire being taken by. Well, not fire, the cavalry just pushing them out. Still managing to get them back with a lot of armour and they could have spent the cavalry time just recharging my front line as it's not a good idea charging spears but from behind I mean they're not braced or anything so they're gonna get crushed. Oh here we go. Ability going down from Orion. Hawk's Talon just magical damage on the um, Grail Knights. Poison coming down. Branch Wraith just being the re the real MVP here, just tackling it out against all these units. Getting poked around. Oh, King Leon Leon Kerr's back, but getting shot on his boss immediately. It's not going to want to stick around for too long, even with all the abilities procced. Heading back. Grail Knight's retreating. Men at arms wavering, Leon Kerr nearly dead. As you can see, it's wrapping up, and there we are, a Wood Elf victory. And a Peric victory for the Wood Elves. Let's end the replay here. As we can see, Ryan getting a lot of kills, Spearmen doing the duty. War Dancer's doing very well, but getting tied up by the men at arms. Probably didn't help. Glare Guard not doing much but distracting the entirety of the um, cavalry from the Bretonia. <clears throat> Tree men holding the line extremely well. Sister Form didn't do that much but held the cavalry back a bit. Branch Wraith with the um, various spells, including Earthblood, kept that front line going, even though it was very tattered towards the end. Virtually nothing left except for one Eternal Guard. King Leon. Leon Kerr, nearly dead, got close. Anyway, MVP for what else has to be obviously Orion, the man himself, God of the Woods, along with the Tree King, just for holding back the entire game. Bretonia, on the other hand, the cavalry did really well. Men at Arms held on to the very end, but overall the Grail Relic going so early pretty much shattered the leadership of the men at arms, especially when the on curse like getting beaten on by Orion. But instead of ending it here, I've got one more video to show you, a very quick one if you can find it. I think it was this one. I named it easy because you'll 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 understand in a moment. It's loading very slowly, but we'll chat through this anyway. And as we can see it's the Orcs versus the Wood Elves, we've got Orion, a Branch Wraith, we've got the, we call now, Way Watchers, that's the one, against Azag the Slaughter himself, with a very, very hard and tough looking force behind him. As we can see, I've also got a dragon on my team as well, very, dragons are very rare from the Wood Elves, but anyway, let's get into it, Only there's only, it's only a two minute battle, but I thought I'd just show everyone a very weird thing. I mean, I haven't gone back and watched this to be honest. I'm sort of watching it back myself after a while, but as we see, a lot of savage art boar boys. A lot of art boys. Goblins strewn about. Black art. Azag with pretty much all his spells and a lot of good goblin wolf riders. From my team, as you can see, a dragon, waystalker, Orion, Glade Guard, Eternal Guard, Tree, Kin, Branch, Wraith, War Dancers, obviously, and Sisters of Fawn. Sorry for running through them really quickly. I mean, just a very quick extra battle to so show you guys, I guess. As you can see, I think the dragons on this game look just amazing. Like, it's got horns, it's got like reindeer horns. It's like the god of all reindeer and elk, and deer. It's all the moss, like how its wings are sort of like. Butterflied. Very cool units. Don't really appreciate these units enough. That very green, ominous background behind it. 
Anyways, enough lulling over the unit models. Let's have a look at the actual fight. And as we can see, just let's... Oh wait, another unit. Oh, more ball boys over there. And... Oh, here we are. I think this is the part. Forest, goblin, but yeah, there we are. I think, if I remember, these just absolutely tear up. Goblin spider riders, as suggested, but I think we're out to see anyway. Very interested, interested to see myself, really. As you can see, they're trying to mooch in there, but not going to do very well, especially against the spears, etc. Going to get driven off almost instantly. Terrified, obviously, by. What do we got terrified by? What causes? Oh, Ryan. Yeah, he causes terror, don't he? As you can see, he's throwing his spear. Is he going to hit any? Yeah, he takes out two. Look at that. Boosh. Down they go. You can see they're retreating away into the goblins. Azag engaging the dragon. Well, the forest dragon. Unfortunately, I do want to look at this bit, but this is the bit I need to sort of look at. Right, it's here. As you can see, they're all bunching up. Should never do this. And I think... Yeah, here we are. The waking of the woods goes down. And just look at the damage. I mean, it's a lot of damage for just... Four magic, really. Four, yeah, four magic. That was it. And add that with the poison slowing them down and the archer fire. It's not going to be able to get away quick enough. Spell going down by Azag. But as you can see, he's just charged them in there thinking the wyvern could take on the forest dragon. Especially with the way watcher. Well, way stalker firing from below. Not going to stand much of a chance. But as I said, just four magic pretty much routed off the entirety of this force in the rain. Getting a bit zealous. Thinking you um, can take on the whole orc army, just running ahead. Thinking better and turning back. Sure, shield, shielding going down the forest dragon, just making this... Oh, one sec. Never saw that before. Ward save, 22. Oh, I never saw the actual image for that. Yeah, all damage. I didn't realise that. Physical. So not only as I get, as I got missile resistance against him, physical and a ward save. He's also might be able to get terrified. Oh no, they're immune to being terrified of dragons. But anyway, he's not having a good time against these two units. Just not gonna last long at all, as you can see, just firing away from beneath as well. Routes almost instantly, and as you can see by the time, only 20 seconds left. He obviously admits defeat. Not gonna be able to do much with Azag in such a in such a bad condition. <laughs> Just flying away. And that is it. Obviously, once again, a Wood Elf victory. And a close victory at that, apparently, even though I'd say that was a decisive victory, but Whatever, whatever. Anyway. Anyway, I hope you guys have once again enjoyed watching <clears throat> these two little replays I've gone through today. And um, if you look in the link, you can find the link for the game and my Instagram if you wish to follow me on that and see what I'm doing in real life. And once again, thank you everyone for joining me. I'll be posting as regularly as, regularly as I can, as per usual. And for now, it's been great having you here. This is Honest, and thank you for watching. See you in the next video.